All right, I taped it up. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts for. I just okay. The tree. All done. good for one batch. I ran out of chainsaw gas, so I have to go up to the store and get more gas. I got more chores. I got other chores to do today too, so I might just stop doing that. Oh, sorry, I started at nine this morning and it's noon. I'm already pretty beat. Pile's getting smaller. Not much left, and of course the stack of wood's getting a little bit too big to be honest with you. I need to start stacking it but I'm gonna start stacking it when I'm done splitting because I just want to get it split that's more important to me than getting it stacked so that's just kind of what's what's happening around here today anyways I'm gonna go eat some lunch do some other chores possibly come back and do more of this we'll see but adios peeps Oh, you got a good piece. That is a great piece. Okay. It was off of a log. Yeah. You like that piece? Yeah, that's great. Right here. Set it on in. That's actually a really great oh, piece. Oh, it's going to fold because it's that's okay if it folds. Yeah, I got a good piece. I we just have to keep it moist. It's definitely moist. Okay, nice chocolate. Let me see how fragile they are. Actually, that's not too bad. So I'm down to my greenhouse this morning, and I'm going to start on the Christmas wreaths. 
And I think Liam is going to make the chicken coop wreath and I'm going to make the wreath for the house. So very happy to have him want to make the wreath with me. Mmm, moss is so pretty. Yeah, that is what it looks like with the moss, and now we're ready to start putting the greenery bunches together. Okay, so it is easiest to do is on the bench. So what you want to do is get some like that. Oh my gosh. This smells so much like Christmas. See? And then you get like a really nice little bundle of all the different kinds. That's so pretty. Oh yeah, they can't even shake off. I think that's pretty dang good. That's Am I done? Thing. I'm completely done now. It looks okay. Centered like that. Yeah. Cool. Okay. The tree. All done. Yay. Pretty. Yeah. Okay, Mom. All right. Yay! Now adjust your bow. Yay! Looks yes. beautiful. All right, there it is. Final product. So first thing this morning, I'm going to make the pumpkin for the pumpkin pie. And I'm going to use one of the pumpkins that we grew, since we grew so many. Ooh. Bits. 
set it, yeah, probably an hour for that big of a pumpkin. Shane's down here making progress yet again. Another day of wood splitting. This pile is getting a lot smaller. Almost done. Almost done. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that pile is getting huge. You must be so tired. That hurts. Uh oh. You could take a lunch break, maybe. Yeah, well, in like half an hour. Put the rest of that, and then cut some more, and then I'll take a break. Yeah. And then I should be able to finish the rest of it after my break. What you want to look for is you want to make sure when you stick your fork in everywhere it's soft basically everywhere and it is look at that oh it's nice and done perfect okay woohoo if you don't cook it sometimes I've cooked them not quite done and then it gets kind of hard to Scoop it out. Okay, I'm just gonna let this cool outside and let it continue to drain the rest of the day. Hello guys. We are almost done. I went in and had a lunch break. I did three hours this morning. And then um, I'm gonna try to finish up what I got left here this afternoon. I just gotta split this I got cut. And then I just have to cut these up and split this, which shouldn't take me too awfully long. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the ones that they're laying on on the ground because those are really full of dirt. And I don't know if I really want my ch chainsaw chain to be cutting through those um, right now. But either way, I'll get all these top ones done and then uh, we'll be done splitting for this year, which would be freaking awesome. My handle split all the way down. See that another one there too. So it's split here down, split here down, and here. Man, I'm almost done too. Maybe I'll duct tape it. <laughs> See if I can just get through these last few pieces. Man, that sucks though. But I've split probably, I don't know, at least 20 cords with it so i did 13 over the last year 13 cords and then the year before that i probably did another well maybe it's closer to 26 cords i've split with it but anyways shit. i'm gonna have to go fix that i don't know you can see it's even like coming apart at the head so it'd be one thing if it was splitting all the way up into the head but it's actually splitting before the head which makes it even more fragile. So I'm going to try taping it up and just see if I can make it work for a little longer. And we'll see what happens. All right, I taped it up. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts for. I just got to get through today's stuff. I don't want to have to go get a handle right now. So hopefully that'll work. I put a lot on there. We'll see what it does.
last two pieces. And then I will have split the whole load. Thank goodness, I've had about enough. Ah. I've got about, eh, about six hours today splitting so far. And I'm pretty tired. That's a lot. It's hard work. I don't hate it though. I just need some breaks from it for a while. Do something different for a little bit. Got Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm probably gonna eat so much after today. Eat the whole house up. One more, last one. Oh, my back. Getting sore. My handle's holding on barely. <laughs> oh, see, right there, that's what hurts it. Oh, man. Man, there you go, that's done. There's still a few little pieces on the ground here, but they're buried about three quarters of the way into the mud and dirt. I'm not gonna cut those up with my saw. And I'm gonna get another 12 to 13 cores dropped off in the springtime. And so, when springtime comes and they drop off that low, this was, I'll just leave this here and they can just stack it back on top. But normally it would go from the end of these logs all the way to the front of that wood pile. And then it's about 10 feet tall or maybe even a little bit more. So I don't know how many feet that is. It's a semi trailer, like 40, 40 something feet or something like that. So it's a lot of wood. It's like 12 to 13 cords. I believe they could fit on a semi truck. So anyhow, here's my wood. Now the next chore will be stacking this. Which I'm gonna try to get Lindsay and my son Liam to come out here and help me with it because you know it gets kind of lonely sitting out here by yourself all the time. It'd be nice to have them help me out. But yeah, it's quite a bit of wood. So yeah. I don't know how many cords that is. It's probably uh six, I would guess. Maybe. Around six cords. That and and the stacked pile over there. Maybe it's five, six, somewhere in there. It's hard to tell when it's all stacked like that. It's easier to tell when it's stacked nice and neat. But anyways, that's it, folks. We'll catch you later. Oh, I can't see down in there. No, it's dark down in there. It's black down in there. We don't have an oven light. That's too fancy. Well. All right, two at a time. Chicken timer. Chicken timer. I'm gonna put it on 40. Chicken. All right, big reveal. And they're, they are extremely hot to the touch. All right, here they are. Awesome. Head down to the lake. I actually gotta get some generator gas. And then uh, because I'm doing that, I'm gonna stop down at the lake and see if we got any ice yet.
kind of want to get ice fishing here, but it's been so warm this year that eh, still open water up until well, at least up until last week. So last night it got down to below zero. So I'm gonna go take a look and see see if we got any ice. I'm gonna, I brought my auger with. I got a little handheld auger there in the truck, and then uh, I gotta stop and get gas for the generator. And yeah, so we're gonna go check and see if there's any ice. We got a tape measure with, see how thick it is, that we can show you guys if we got enough to stand on or not. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you when we get there. It's kind of nice, because all I have to do for to get to the lake is just drive down the our gravel road to the other dead end, which is about, I think it's about four or five miles, maybe it's six miles down. Mice. Looks like it was open out there not too far out though. You can see how it's really clear. No snow on it. It either got wind blown off or I'm guessing that was open water and it just froze. But let's go take a look here. I see some stress cracks too right by the shoreline. Solid on the shoreline. There's at least three right there. Well, granted, we're in about eight inches of water, so it doesn't say much, but I'm gonna risk my biscuit just a little bit further. Let's see what happens here. I've seen guys, uh, I don't know if it was this lake or another lake right around here, going out on like three inches of ice with boards on their feet and they would just like slide ac across the lake. I don't know how well that works but yeah. still three this dress crack right up here is kind of sketching me out. And I can see there's kind of moisture on the snow. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But there's a stress or crack there. And then if you look, you'll see like there's moisture. Which kind of weirds me out a little bit. You can see it's definitely making ice hard last night. I just don't know how much it can make. It's probably got like two below last night. Ooh, I can hear it cracking. Hmm. Oh, Pretty thin. We be about as far as I go. And it's still three. Right on the money in three. It's enough to stand on, but I know it's about six feet deep, probably right where we're at here. That's where I back my boat in sometimes. But anyways, yeah, it's not thick enough for me yet. I like at least four inches, at least four and a half, five, and then I feel pretty comfortable, kind of going wherever I want, but. Three, that's that's too unpredictable. I need a little bit more than that. So I don't know what's gonna happen though, because I think over the next 
shoot, 10 days or something like that. It's supposed to be in the 30s and stuff. And it's just not good in making ice weather, which kind of kind of sucks a little bit because normally by the middle of December, I'm driving on the lake. So the fact that I can't drive on it um, probably till January, it just kind of sucks a little bit. But anyways, that's what we're dealing with. We got some ice, but not enough. All right, there it is. I'm a little short. Normally I'd probably be, probably go up to this log here, but it's hard to guess how many pieces to throw in each time. But yeah, that right there, early and late in the year, probably last three weeks. If there was another roll, maybe a month. But uh, during January or February, I mean, that's, you can burn that up in like a week, easy. So, just depends on the time of year, but this time of year, I'd probably go a couple weeks, I would guess. About two weeks. Anyways, adios.